Good morning, everybody. It's Katie Austin here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really excited about today's video because I feel like I don't talk about it enough. If you do my workouts, you know I love HIIT workouts, I love cardio routines. Something that I don't speak about enough is what to do on a rest day and why rest days are as equally as important as those heavy hitter days as well. I'm gonna take you through a very short, quick recovery day routine that you guys can do if you are feeling a little bit sore or you just need some movement in your body, it's cold outside, maybe you can't leave your house and even go for a walk. You should not be working out hard seven days a week. You need rest and sleep to support your immune system. You need time for your muscles to grow and recover. You can't be working out every single day. Also, when I have my rest days, it actually re-motivates me to work out the next day. So let's start off with the first thing that I do on a recovery day. I think a massager, the deep tissue massager is seriously I don't mean to be dramatic here, but I'm being dramatic, life-changing. If you're someone who works out a lot like me, or you're not even someone who works out a lot like me and you're sitting at your work desk a lot, we don't really realize how much tension our muscles carry, as well as how much that can even stress us out more when our muscles carry all that tension. What am I 2020, why can't I say 2022? It's like. What the heck? One of my year goals is actually using the wall massager for a few minutes every day after workout. And this is what it looks like. It looks a little bit intimidating maybe, but I promise you guys, it's going to help you and your muscles so much. First up, it helps reduce inflammation. Second up, this might sound a little scientific here, but it helps bring on the production of mitochondria in the muscles to help increase endurance. It helps speed the recovery of a very active lifestyle and helps to reduce the feeling of tiredness and pain. So I'm gonna actually just show you guys how it works. It's cordless. You don't need a cord when you use it as well. It's rechargeable. It's super easy to handle. So I actually like how big it is as well. So then I can like reach different parts on my back right here. If you want it a higher speed, hear that? Lower. I don't know if you guys like gather a lot of attention on your neck, but I do from typing all the time and on my freaking phone. So like I reduce it a little bit so I can really hit my shoulders my neck tension, it feels so freaking good. And then when I'm hitting my thigh muscles, I ramp it up. It has up to seven hours of runtime on a single charge. One place that you really forget to do is your calf muscles too. Usually I'm sitting when I do this, by the way, when I'm doing my calves, but yeah. Not only does it have different speed levels as well of intensity, it has different heads too. So I like to do is actually use the wall for like four to five minutes before I do this routine, just to like really loosen up my muscles, get the blood flowing around my body, and then do this routine. So let's do it. All right, you guys. So you guys don't need a mat if you don't want, but at the same time, it always helps. You're gonna come back, you're gonna inhale deep, Get all the oxygen flowing inside your lungs, throughout your body, give you energy. And as you release, I really want you guys to release that shoulder tension. Roll your shoulders out right here. Give me two big deep breaths with those shoulder rolls too. Deep breath, inhale and exhale. Kind of like a mouth pose in yoga, stretching out your chest right here. Roll those shoulders out. Beautiful. Keeping a little bit of bend in your legs as well. One more big deep breath. Hold that breath at the top for five, four, three, two, one. Release, let it go. Roll out those shoulders one more time. Stay right here in a nice squat ready position as well. We're gonna take big arm circles back and back. Beautiful. Elongate that arm back, stretching out your chest, your shoulder blades. Like I said in the beginning of this video, you guys are on your work desk a lot or if you just did an upper body chest workout yesterday, you need to relieve that shoulder and upper body tension. Beautiful. Three, two, and one. As you guys relax, slowly sink down just like that. Hold right here, turn one shoulder in and feel that stretch. Beautiful. Breathe in, exhale and switch. Opening up your hips as well. This is one of my favorite stretches right here. If you guys have done any workouts of mine, you guys know I love this one. Great. Last switch right here. Awesome. Now another one that I absolutely love to open up my hips. We're gonna take this ankle across that knee. Hold right here in chair pose position. 
hold a little pressure if you guys need on that knee as well and open up those hips oh my god sit back with it just a little how good does that feel keep breathing inhale and exhale and switch i think the main part of this as well is to focus on your breath so open up your chest fill your belly with all the oxygen it possibly can sit back with that and as you guys exhale i want you guys to just fall towards the mat grab onto your ankles from the back right here and just hang loose making sure your shoulders are hanging as well and you're really just giving up all in the upper body and holding on grabbing on to those ankles as best as you can all right beautiful if you guys want you guys can even pedal out your feet get that stretch in your calves great and as you exhale slowly roll up each vertebrae at a time step to the end of your mat right here take it back for a nice reverse lunge right here beautiful tap that knee to the ground and we're going to come into a nice deep runner's lunge great work you guys inhale and exhale come right back up and switch Breathe in and exhale. Seriously, another favorite stretch. Great. As you come up right here, I want you guys to inhale once again. And as you exhale, grab a foot to stretch out your quads. All right, what happens here, sometimes we're doing quad stretch, we arch our back like that. I want you guys to actually tuck your hips under. So, you're really elongating that quad muscle right here. Arm up, breathe in, and exhale. Tuck those hips under. Squeeze your booty as well. Try not to arch like this. Wonderful. Now, same kind of thing, but grab onto that knee, hold it towards you, and switch. Just a little bit of stretching right here. We're gonna do just a touch of movement. We won't break a sweat too much. Now that we're a little stretched out, I want you guys to just get a little active with me. A little, very, very short. So what we're gonna do is just do a nice shuffle across. Shuffle across right here. Get that blood flow in. And exhale, wonderful. You guys can add that back toe tap as well. Breathe in and exhale. Staying a little low, great work. Rest day does not mean just sitting on your couch. Just a little bit of movement is good for us right here. Last one. Stay a little bit low, hold right here. We're gonna just do a mini squat to reach. Mini squat, reach and elongate that arm across, up, Beautiful, feel that side stretch. Great work. Exhale, every reach. Stretch it out. Wonderful. And we're just gonna stay low, hold right here in a nice squat. Pulse up and down just like that. Beautiful. Hands to heart center. This is our last bit of big movement right here. Working our muscles. <laughs> nice work. Stay low. For five, four, three, two. Inhale. And I want you guys to clasp your fingers at the top of that right here. Clasp your fingers and stretch out that side body. Beautiful. Switch. Great. Now take it back if you guys can. Really stretch out that belly. Wonderful. And one more time. Fall forward, grab onto those ankles, and hopefully, once you're touching your toes or anything, your ankles, it becomes a little bit easier by the end of the video as well. You kind of feel that tension release, especially after using the wall recovery massager as well. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit better, a little looser. Great. 
10. Roll up each vertebrae at a time right here. Last but not least, those shoulders roll out as well. Beautiful work, you guys. Um, and that's it. You guys can feel free to repeat this video two more times or a <laughs> total of two times, one more time through if you guys want. So make sure you guys are trying this recovery routine on your rest days and you're trying the tips that I'm giving as well. And then two things about nutrition on your rest day. I'm not a scientist or a doctor, but massages and stretching a lot is actually inherently dehydrating. So you know when you like go get a massage and the masseuse is like, make sure you're staying hydrated because working your muscles gets the fluid pumping out of the soft tissue into your circulatory system, which heads towards your kidneys. So that's why you should be actually drinking maybe even more water than you regularly do on a rest day. Again, I'm not a doctor or a scientist. Along with water and what you're putting into your body, make sure you're eating just as much as you would when you're doing those hard hit or strength days as well. You need all the protein, you need all the nutrients, you need all the fuel. And I know a lot of the times, I actually weirdly get the question a lot. That's like, do you eat less when you're not working out on a, on a day? And I'm like, no, I eat the exact same amount. I don't think about my calories in and calories out. And so I hope these tips really help you guys stay hydrated, get those rest days in, make sure to, oh yeah, I love how I just have this sitting right here as well. So make sure to also check out the wall cord this recovery deep tissue massager as well. I'll put the link right down below and I love you guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video. Mwah.